sideline ball for Wexford. Again, Marty, like you're looking down there, McGovern and, and McDonald, 2-1-2, two two, and you're saying, why can't they just get the ball in deep to them centrally? You know, anything that's gone in has gone into the corners, and it's just been so frustrating for the two lads inside, and they were very threatening all last year. On Moore's sideline is a disappointment for him, because ultimately he gives the possession away. He wouldn't be overly happy with that. Referee. Jeremy Kerwin telling the Kilkenny goalkeeper and his defenders to stand on the line. Have to uh, stay on the line now, Marty. As Ian Byrne, there they are, as Ian Byrne takes the free. You can see the Kilkenny Cats watching anxiously. As uh, David Redmond will feel that there should have been more power in it. It was well directed and the keeper, cat-like, dived to his left and put it out for a 65. Yeah, and I'd say Project Walsh. It's this over. Just three points between the teams. Despite the Kenny are there in numbers again. Paul Murphy. Oh, wonderful catch. He's been over hurled. TJ has the hurl. He's inside. He's brought down. Must be a penalty. The referee arriving and he's now outstretched his arms and he's indicated. Here we go. It's TJ Reid facing Mark Fanning. One against one. Even if you had three men on the line. Absolutely, Marty. Just right inside the post. What a rocket as well. Like I'd be saying a lot of these now should be maybe placed. And actually correct decision all the way. We're getting used to the uh, familiar style of left half forward Ian Bryant. Just inside the post. He's opposite number six is Kieran Joyce. Now who's supposed to be marking Ger Aylward? Given the time, given the space. On his fifth or sixth. Ian Byrne. Well, he's... Richie Hogan already has scored a goal and a point in this match. Displaying his repertoire of skills. And just as I was praising him, he sends the free wide. Michael Fennelly, Connor Fogarty. Like pinpoint, looks like they have a radar and they're hurlings. Finished superbly by TJ Reid. It's pretty impressive. TJ Reid 1 1, Richie Hogan 1 1, Jerry Aylward 1 2. Yeah, simplicity, simplicity, Marty, in the play. Mick Finley having a match. Off quickly. Just getting a touch, TJ Ray to Richie Hogan, and away goes Hogan on the 20. Heading towards the 13, here comes the shot, and somehow Ian Ryan got in the way, and the goalkeeper just seemed to lose. The reigning Leinster and All-Ireland champions. Tomas, uh, doubts about Kilkenny, where are they now? <laughs> <laughs> well, my doubts were at the start were number three and number six, right? But they haven't been really tested, right? Yes, right? Um, but, like, you take up front, no doubts about what they have up front and the talent that they have. I think we mentioned there's t 13 of last year's team kind of on, on the team today, and it's the old order restored, you know, and the, and the orchestrator himself and Richie Hogan, he's had a powerful, powerful first half. They're giving Wexford a lesson in, in the basics of catching ball off the year, their distribution of the ball has been fantastic and the goal threat. I mean, they could have had six or seven goals in the first half period. Wexford on the other side, yeah, you'll say 10 points, 10 points to seven, but they've conceded soft goals in what, what, in what you would say from their side. Not enough contribution up front, and particularly I mentioned about the number three, not mm -hmm. getting a challenge, you know. Not enough ball going in around the danger area, and it shows like Ian Byrne has got seven points out of the ten, six from freeze, no distribution going in there to really threaten them. And when they did get the one chance, that went over the bar, I think, from Leon Le McGovern. Yeah. Yeah. That should have been a goal. Mm. They, were, they were back in the game at that stage if they got a goal. And, Ger, when, when Wexford needed to be ruthless and as clinical as Kilkenny always have been early in the game, before Kilkenny's first goal, they were wasteful. Yeah, ever, ever before Kilkenny got that first goal, which was decisive. But look at here. How can you put, you can put this down to a total lack of belief among the, the, the Wexford forwards, which lack of belief is the affliction of the challenger all the time. 
it's, it, you, you can see there, poor first touch, a haymaker of a swing that's very easily blocked. And next thing, the ball is cleared out, and when it comes, a clear shot at goal, it thinks of Lima McGovern here, and the ball goes wide. All of that is not just a lack of skill, it's a lack of belief. Now, here is the one time they did get the ball to the full forward line. Conor McDonald into Lee Morgan McGovern. Now, he made a very good effort to score in the goal, but he, he, he didn't score it. Now, I, I think what was crucial there in that first 15, 15 minutes is what Anthony Daly was saying. You know, they weren't getting the ball to their two danger men, Lee Morgan McGovern and Conor McDonald inside the full forward line, even though the ball, even though the wind was behind them. You know, so when you get that, if you look last night at Galway, mm -hmm. in the first... Hit, so hopefully he's OK. TJ, great save by the goalkeeper, Mark Fanning, and that's got out for a 65. But I can also tell you right now that the referee is hobbling, but as we look at the replay here, it was a chance. Good save by the Wexford keeper. Yeah, good, good credit to Mark Fanning, Marty. He, he got down well, but you could see TJ slapping his hand with his own hurley after missing it because when he normally gets in that position off... He TJ, who's now operating at left half forward, takes that shot and puts it between the posts, giving him a personal tally of a goal and two points in this match. Into the middle, just possessed, fairly and squarely. Adrian, Aidan Nolan, and that is a great score by David Redmond. As Porrig Walsh lets fly, and here's O'Larkin. Being pursued by Kieran Kenny. Still lacking, as he has done for many, many seasons. Owen Larkin with a wonderful point. Individual score created and finished by the James Stevens man. Yeah, strength and power, Marty, and experience. And what a brilliant player for so long for this team. And what a leader up front for them always. Willing to work back if he has to. Unerringly between for Wexford. Wonderful, fabulous catch by Connor McDonald. And once again, taking the freeze for his team and for his manager is Ian Byrne. Has a unique style, but it's effective. William Oak, but great quick thinking by Andrew Shore. Was fouled, didn't wait for the Kilkenny defence to get reset. You know, spotted Lee Morgan, made the run, and you know, got it down to him as fast as he could. And if he gets base, he's a top quality forward. Long took out from Owen Murphy, coming straight to TJ. Kenny regained possession. Jackie Terrell laying it off, sending it low. Ball comes out for us, TJ Reid. Nobody immediately outside. Walter Walsh just took his eye off it momentarily. Damon O'Keefe. A little touch to it. Harry Kell steps away from the challenge. Lays it off as David Redmond. This is dropping in and dropping wide. For Wexford's seventh wide in the match. Yeah, but battling well, Marty, they are, they're digging in and, and, and trying to force, you know, Kikini into errors and Walter Walsh made, you know, should have caught the ball first time there and they broke up field, a wide OK, but, you know, hanging in there, I mean... ...the man... ...that they could burst through for another. Breaking ball, picked up by Michael Fennelly. Richie Hogan called, it was duly delivered, steps away from the challenge, makes a bit of space and splits the posts.